James Middleton, the younger brother of Duchess Kate of Cambridge, is officially a married man. Middleton, 34, the last of the three Middleton siblings to get married, wed Alize Vivenet on Saturday, he announced Sunday on Instagram, writing that he married the love of my life surrounded by family, friends and of course a few dogs in the beautiful village, of, Bormes les Mimosas in France. Words cannot describe how happy I am, Middleton added including a heart emoji and abbreviations for Great Britain and France, for his and Evanette's respective home countries. Evanette and Middleton are beaming in the photo he shared, which shows the bride in a lacy, strapless white gown and simple pearl earrings, and the groom in a cream-colored suit jacket, light blue shirt and navy pattern tie. USA Today has reached out to Kensington Palace for comment. Kate, 39, the eldest of Carol and Michael Middleton's three children, married Prince William in 2011, and Pippa Middleton, 38, married financier James Matthews in 2017. Middleton and Vevenet, a financial analyst in London, have dated since 2018, according to the Daily Mail. They announced their engagement on October 6, 2019, sharing photos and a short video clip on Instagram. Our secret is out but we couldn't be happier to share the news, he captioned a selfie of the two, adding emojis for a champagne bottle and glasses. Duchess Kate's brother reveals debilitating battle with depression. Middleton who is close to both his sisters, has been seen with them often at family and charity events and at Wimbledon. He has dabbled in various businesses and has become something of a spokesman for dealing with depression and mental health issues. After Kate's wedding, he was catapulted into the media spotlight and found the pressure and scrutiny hard to handle. He has been open about his struggles, talking to Tatler about it in June 2019 and writing a candid column in the Daily Mail in January 2019. His royal in-laws, especially Prince William and Prince Harry, have made mental health a focus of their charitable activities, hoping to reduce the stigma around mental illness and highlight the possibilities of treatment. Contributing, Maria Buende, 